Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show. You're here. You made it. You got it with the family. I want to wish everyone a very happy Thanksgiving right now. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. <laughs> Round of applause. How many of you are asleep right now? <laughs> uh, well, you're going to want to wake up for this, because we have an amazing show. The one and only Cher is my guest tonight. <laughs> Earlier today, uh, Cher headlined the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Yeah. That, was... uh, that actually wasn't planned. Whatever she drives down the street, a parade forms around her. That's just what happened. <laughs> That's right. Today was the 97th Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. It was really fun, although at one point there was a large gust of wind and the SpongeBob balloon got its nipple pierced by the Chrysler building. <laughs> it's a really interesting. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, once again, I overdid it on the food. Uh, after dinner, I dropped an Alka-Seltzer into some Pepto, into some Gas-X, and called it a medical turducken. <laughs> I love how after dinner, like, I won't eat for a week, and then three hours later, we're standing over the sink gnawing on a cold drumstick. <laughs> my family actually doesn't have turkey on Thanksgiving because of my relationship with NBC. We're only allowed to eat peacock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, it was a great Thanksgiving, but it's almost midnight now, and on behalf of everyone at home watching, there's something I need to say. <laughs> Guess, get out. <laughs> I'm serious. Button up your pants and leave. <laughs> I'm talking to you, Pamela. You're not family. Go digest in your own home. <laughs> Meredith, stop offering to do the dishes, because now... <laughs> Everyone has to pretend that they were going to clean the kitchen tonight, which they definitely were not. <laughs> By the way, Brian, we all noticed that noise your body made 10 minutes ago. That was scary. <laughs> Get some help. <laughs> Meredith, I wasn't joking. Out. <laughs> now. Well, I guess if you're staying, I just learned to play Wonderwall on the guitar. <laughs> oh, now you're leaving? This has been a Thanksgiving message from The Tonight Show. Uh, well, I saw that President Biden and his family spent Thanksgiving in Nantucket. Yeah, Biden made a sure an authentic Thanksgiving meal was served, uh, and he would know because he was there for the first one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, former President Trump also celebrated Thanksgiving. Yeah, it's a little different at the Trump's house. Uh, when they cook the turkey, it's over three days in a tanning bed. <laughs> Ron DeSantis had a good Thanksgiving, although things got a little tense when he yelled for the last time, why am I seated at the kids' table? <laughs> I... Finally, guys, uh, what is Thanksgiving without football? Yeah. Uh, you know, I... <laughs> Earlier tonight, the Seattle Seahawks faced off against the San Francisco 49ers. Now, as you know, at the end of every season, they give out awards like Most Valuable Player, but they also give out awards during the season, too. I'll, I'll show you what I mean. It's time for tonight's show, Supro. <laughs> Our first player is from the 49ers. It's George Kittle. He was voted uh, most likely to star in Home Alone 7. <laughs> At all. Next up from the Seahawks is DJ Dallas. <laughs> he was voted most likely to be watching his girlfriend go through his DMs. <laughs> Next up from the 49ers is Corey Luciano. He was voted most likely to be hiding a pet bird in his mouth. Next up from the Seahawks is Michael Jackson. He was voted most likely I've already heard whatever you're about to say. Beat it. Next up from the Seahawks is Levi Bell. He was voted most likely to be able to crank his head and have a clown pop out of it. <laughs> Next up from the Seahawks is Colby Parkinson. Uh, he was voted most likely to say welcome in the softest, most gentle voice. <laughs> Next from the Seahawks is John Radigan. He was voted most likely to turn Gatorade into wine. <laughs> Next from the 49ers is John Feliciano. He was voted least likely to say, let's make this a girls' night and chillax. <laughs> Next up from the 49ers is Jake Tonges. 
He was voted toughest little cutie pie. <laughs> I'm mad. Finally, from the Seahawks is Will Disley. He was voted most likely to be the love child of Peyton Manning and Ed Sheeran. <laughs> there you have it. Those are your superlatives. We have a great show. Happy Thanksgiving. Give it up for the Roots right there. The show we have for you tonight, she is one of the most iconic superstars on the planet and one of the best selling music artists of all time with over 100 million records sold. Her new album, Christmas, is out now. Cher is here. Ladies and gentlemen. We'll be talking to her, and then later in the show, we'll be revealing some shocking secrets. Ooh. Shocking. You don't want to miss that. Plus, his new comedy special, The Old Man and the Pool, is streaming now on Netflix. The very funny Mike Birbiglia is joining oh. us tonight. Love Old Man and the Pool. And we got great music. Offset is performing tonight. Oh. Here she is. Oh my gosh, it's Cher. Cher! I didn't know, I didn't know you were back there the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I was just taking a nap. Oh my gosh! You were, ta you were taking a nap, you surprised me, yeah. I'm so happy to be here in the show. Uh, <laughs> do, do you like our, uh, our, our, our set? Do you like the... I'm a big fan of the roots, but I love this audience! Yeah! New York City! <laughs> New York City is the best audience in the world! Wow! Wow! Um, uh, what's that? <laughs> oh, really? You got a secret. Oh. Let's just say it again. Do you want to say it a little bit louder? I want, I want to crowd surf. Oh! I think it's dangerous. I think it's, I think it's too dangerous. There's no way, Cher, it's dangerous. Don't do that. I don't care what are you talking about. Man? What are you Sure, that was very dangerous of you, but very, very cool. All right, I'm just gonna take a nap back. back I'm gonna just take a nap back here, and I'll be back out when, when my segment starts. All right, Cher, ladies and gentlemen, that's Cher. She wanted a crowd surf. Uh, guys, I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, you know, today is just about over, and I already had dinner, so I thought I'd take a look at my Thanksgiving bingo card if I oh, could. Oh, great. Yeah, I just want to take a look at it and I'll see how I see how I did. Uh, all right, let's see. First up here, we have uh, Dad loses a finger carving the turkey, just sleeps it off. No, <laughs> didn't happen this year. Not this year. Not, Not this, this year, year, fortunately. Yeah. This next square says, uh, family spends 45 minutes figuring out how to switch TV to HDMI 2. Yeah, I did get that one. Got that one. Let's see the next square. Your great aunt asks you to help with her application for the Golden Bachelor. <laughs> Look at this next one here. The term PC police comes up within the first five minutes. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, nice. Here's the uh, free space here. This is as uh, everyone pretends to be huge Seahawks or 49ers fans to avoid talking to each other. It's, everyone gets the free space. I gotta watch that game. Yeah. Next square says uh, you dab in a desperate attempt to connect with your younger cousins. Is this, is this Riz? Like is this 30, Riz? They're like 30, right? Is this Riz? Oh, 
no, Cher's gonna tap. <laughs> Uh, next, there's uh, when asked for the Wi Fi password, your mom lists nine possible <laughs> options. I think there's an exclamation point. There's an exclamation point in the, instead of the L. Uh, all right. Oh, next one here says, uh, your weird nephew airdrops you a picture of you eating right at that moment. Gross. I know what they look like. Don't post that. And finally, your grandparents reenact the pottery scene from Ghosts while they rub down a turkey. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's another great Thanksgiving. Well, guys, today is a day that oh, it's all about giving thanks. So I thought, what better day to write out my weekly thank you notes? Do you guys mind? Is that okay? James, can I get some thank you note writing music, please? Thank you, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, for being the worst time for the edibles to kick in. SpongeBob. Thank you, Thanksgiving leftovers, for also being a sly way to steal someone's Tupperware. <laughs> I'll return it. <laughs> Thank you, electric carving knife, for making it sound like my turkey has a personal massager. Oh, oh, wow. I just got that one. <laughs> I'm not sure if I did. Oh my God. Thank you, playing a board game with family after Thanksgiving dinner, for being a fun way to say, I don't think we fought enough yet. <laughs> Thank you, inflatable yard decorations, for letting my neighbors celebrate the holidays with a 24-7 leaf blower. There you have it, everybody. Those are my thank you notes.